Hello my beautiful IT people, Andy is here and this is InfoTech channel. On this YouTube channel, we typically talk about how to get a job in IT, how to get certified, how to be ready for a job interview if it's IT related. But today, I just wanted to give you my personal story, how I became cloud engineer, what it took basically, right, what motivated me. Maybe you are a person who's just in the beginning of this career path and is lost and you don't know what to do next right where to start then stay tuned this video is for you i personally started somewhere in uh, 2015 i just noticed how cloud services are skyrocketing um, it companies getting super rich right they hire more and more people amazon web services stock was start flying up to the sky through the roof so I decided to jump on that train, right, and get a little bit of fun for myself. And of course, I needed some motivation. And I'm going to tell you up front, it's not about your age. You can start at any age. All right. I, I was pretty old, you know, when I started. It's just I look young, but I'm old in my soul. So basically, um, you need motivation, right? In my case, it was a little child that I was expecting with my wife back at the time. Um, so my son was due in just a couple of months, right? And I had very limited time to make a switch to a better career, to better social life, to better income, benefits, and so on. In your case, just try to find your perfect motivation, all right? Use uh, maybe family situation or your habitat situation, right? Maybe you're not happy with your social life. Maybe where you live, even in which country, right? You're not happy with things uh, that go sideways, for example. Use that anger, that unhappiness to improve your situation, all right? To get better job, better pay, better benefits and so on. Do not just complain that something doesn't go as planned, right? Or you feel like you deserve better. Use that anger, convert it into something that pushes you to work towards your dream job. In my case, it was a child that I've been expecting for some time and I wanted to provide a better future for my future son. First big question though was where to start. So I know there are different IT jobs. It could be like a tester, automation, quality assurance, could be a developer, a programmer, right? A database administrator, where exactly you go and which course you would take to succeed in your future IT job. So I decided to Google and um, find out what's out there. And I created a profile you can take any reputable um, IT job market website like ziprecruiter.com or glassdoor.com or monster.com. Create your profile without uploading resume, right? You're in the very beginning. And in the search for job box, type these different professions. For example, tester automation, DBA, database admin, developer, and so on. Pick a couple of uh, jobs from the list on top and read job description and requirements. Then compare, all right? The best way to pick if you don't know where to start is to just compare job requirements and descriptions. If at some of them, for example, you like some uh, descriptions for database admins, at least you understand some basic what they talk about, right? Some one out of five uh, requirements is so so familiar for you just go for that job after you compare them you would have a feel what is your path well I personally liked database administration first of all it limits you to knowing only one database engine which was already a little bit easier right not that much neighboring services maybe only storage right and some kind of application that's connected to your database so it's easy to visualize it's easier to understand even without having technical knowledge 
So I found courses that were pretty close from my place. I suggest taking it in person because aside of studying your uh, requirements and your database engine, for example, you also create a network of people who are interested in the same thing as you are, right? So I found some people who were interested to become DBAs, database administrators. And then I quickly searched through the class and I pinpoint a couple of people who are actually very willing to learn, that are very motivated, same as I was. So I talked personally to these people and I created a smaller group within our class and we would assemble together separately from the class or before the actual lesson, maybe one hour before, and we would practice and do mock interviews for each other to become sharper and better at what we do. I also found a friend who was already working as a DBA for some kind of bank. So he had some experience and he already passed the IT related job interview when he was on job market. So he knew exactly what I need to succeed. When you start taking IT related courses, always look for this person or maybe people who can help you to succeed. If you don't have friends, um, create a LinkedIn profile and start building your network. You will find people who work as DBA or testers or developers, so on. Contact them, all right, and ask for help after a while, after you introduce yourself and you have basic conversation, right? Tell them what you're trying to accomplish and in a lot of cases, people will be willing to help you. Maybe for free, if not, for just a little bit of, you know, incoming payments from you. Not necessarily too much money, right? Uh, these people might be from a country like uh, Russia, Ukraine, Bangladesh, India, like for, from poor country, and they would not request too much money from you to coach you to do mock interviews with you over the internet. The beauty of um, today's world is that you can talk to people that are outside of your country, right? They can be anywhere. So you will definitely find some help elsewhere, like abroad. So I got some help and we've been doing uh, one or two times a week uh, mock interviews where he would ask me about high availability, disaster recovery strategies. He would ask me management type of questions, gauging how easy I am to work with, what kind of experience I have that shows that I'm easy to work with, right? And I'm professional and I would be a good fit for that particular company or position. My experienced DBA helper told me that um, I should not be focused on how to technically do my job with a specific database engine, but I've got to be focused on the main objective, how to pass the IT interview. That is extremely, extremely important. It's more important than knowing your job. You've got to know how to pass interview. Eventually though, you can start learning technicalities of your work after you get hired, right? You will have all the time in the world now to study and to learn and to research specifics about your job technically, but you will be paid while doing that, all right? So learn how to get in and then study whatever you want while getting paid. Anyways, that's what I did. And my first cloud role was with AWS, Amazon Web Services, at the time leading IT company in the world. So because I knew how to pass interview, I was able to secure this very high end position. Then I actually start learning database engines. I knew only SQL Server, but with AWS, I had to learn also Oracle, Postgres, Aurora, MariaDB, MySQL, and a couple of more database engines, which was crazy. So basically I've learned them all over the course of 3.5 years. So I worked uh, with database support, uh, receiving phone calls, live chats, emails from big enterprise clients, 
and trying to help them to resolve their technical issues related to databases, to database servers in the cloud. So these services are AWS services. Uh, in a lot of cases, customers don't have full access to underlying hardware or operating system. That is why they had people like me who would go inside, have access to their environment. I did not see their data, but I saw their environment. I could monitor performance of their database. I could pull up CloudWatch metrics. I could see enhanced monitoring uh, graphs. I could see OS process list, right? What's running against this server or database. And having access to all these resources would enable me to help them troubleshoot technical issues with their database server. Initially, it was a big challenge, huge, but I personally love challenges, right? If that you are not that type of person, pick something low key profile, all right? Don't go for uh, a job where information is poured at you as like from the fire hose, right? Look for something maybe uh, storage related where you just verify objects that coming into storage and go out or be a tester where you have only like two or three different tasks that uh, you perform every single day right and you start from there eventually you can switch to more advanced role from tester you can go to dba then to developer and so on right you can become technical account manager or something more proficient and uh, more related to working with people more than working with technology. So after about two years, I've learned um, database support job pretty well, and it became a little bit more of a routine, right? Resolving cases, seeing same issue again and again, applying same technique again and again. And I start looking around and trying to make a next move. And you will see if you join IT community, you will see that um, IT uh, engineers, they do not stick around for a very long time, typically in the same company or in the same role. They always on the move because people love challenge, right? They want to learn new techniques. They want to make more money. They want to get better position, right? Uh, balance work and life better. And that makes you search for new job every two or three years, typically. You will rarely see um, data engineer or developer or even tester that stays in the same role for more than two years. So I've been working in the same position for three and a half years, which was already long. And I decided to make a switch and work for a contract through tech systems with a little bit smaller company just to see what works better for me. So AWS was huge. Only database team was close to 70 engineers, seven zero. So it was a lot, like it's a huge floor of people and they all work in the same company, in, in the same team basically with you. You basically go with your laptop from one person to another like a whole day long. Um, but then I switched to a smaller setting. I switched to working remotely 100% and I realized I like it better. So tech systems gave me a new perspective, a new vision of being independent and unsupervised. And when you already have a little bit of experience, you can work unsupervised better. That's what I did. So it brought more balance between my work and life because I had a small child to take care of, right? So I needed that time and flexibility and be able to go and pick up the child from daycare, right? Or from school and then bring him back. Or if he gets sick, I would be able to be more with him. And uh, typically when you work remotely in IT and you have a uh, good communication with your managers, you can let them know what's happening, right? And in a lot of cases, I would get a response. Yeah, Andrew, please take care of your issue with the family at home. And uh, we want a job to be done, but you can do it a bit later. You can do it later in the evening. 
at night in the morning right what we care about is to get the job done when you will do it is your problem after working on a contract with tech system remotely 100 percent i realized i need to make one more adjustment so now i knew i like working remotely i like working from home or from whatever place in the world i want to go to i can connect through vpn and just work from any country any place in the world and it was such a relief it's like a very good feeling when you can do that right you're not attached to a specific office to a specific group of people basically or to a place right you are more like cosmopolitan you're more like cosmopolitan you can travel and work also i realized that working with short-term contracts is also not for me because you constantly need to worry about what to do next how to switch from one contract to another how to make a move from contract to like w2 position like permanent position right it's a constant constant extra stress for you to think about so i went back to job market and this time it was extremely easy because i had a lot of experience not only with work i do but also experience how to go through job market how to pass the technical interview how to answer management type of questions right how to make myself more desirable for the employer so this time i got three job offers from different companies and i picked the one that worked best for me it was a booz allen and hamilton company with excellent pay with very good benefits with very good internal like company work culture and life and work balance it was a permanent position and it was 100 percent remote which i love to this day i still work with uh, amazon web services resources and in particular with databases but this time i'm a customer right so i even get customer support from amazon if something goes sideways you know in my environment i always can contact amazon and ask for additional help or for escalation my current job is diverse that is something i've been looking for so now i work on performance of a database performance of server i can create new objects i can create new indexes improve the performance of the table or database or specific sql query at the same time i work on migrations and i work on cross vpc cross account migrations which gives you a lot of opportunity to work with different services and be very valuable at your work i've been with booz allen for about one year and a half and i created a pretty good personal relationship with management and with other engineers and teams that i collaborate with i can spend time with my kid with my family i can travel and that means a lot for me i hope my story motivated you and now you know you can start anytime at any age and you can still succeed based on my experience just find what pushes you most all right reflect on yourself find what will motivate you create a simple plan to follow and just go for it anyways that was my story tell me about yours Maybe you had a different experience or you couldn't accomplish, you couldn't bring it to resolution. You maybe took courses and then you were not able to secure a job, right? Or you got a job but could not stay in it for a longer period of time. Share your thoughts. Maybe I will give you additional suggestions and some information how to fix it in the future. Until then, Take care and bye-bye.